Fishing News is sponsored by these fine partners. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. If you're anything like me, you've spent most of this week in the garage, in the shop, or in the shed getting all your stuff ready for the start of the fluke season here in New Jersey on Friday. Just sitting here looking over my couple of trays of bucktails, uh, gulp and fish bites, and all the accoutrements I need, of course, my back bay and river uh, gear, because I will be starting light, starting shallow, starting with some of those light hoochie mamas and light bucktails and jigs uh, as of this weekend. Of course, the winds and the waves are expected to subside heading into Friday's opener for those who just love breaking the inlet, of course, though I'd imagine some of the best catches are going to be coming from some, some of that shallow water. Uh, the Navisink, we're getting good bycatch reports out of Shark River, the Manasquan, upper reaches of Barnegat Bay, behind Barnegat Inlet. I'll be down the Little Leg Harbor, Great Bay Area. I know Absecon Bay, Little Bay, all the way down behind Absecon, uh, down to Great Egg Harbor, and Ludlam, and Jarvis Sound, and Jenkins, and Grassy. Not to forget Cape May, Har Cape May, uh, Cape May Harbor, right? And all along the inter intercoastal waterway, I think that is where we're, a lot of people are gonna focus for those summer flounder. Of course, you Delawareans, you've already gotten into the action. You don't even have a closure. There's no need for an opening date. But folks down in Lewis and Rehoboth catching some flounder down there in Delaware as well. Again, as seas laid down, this weekend and of course everybody always waits for the fluke season it is the big event here in jersey but a lot of folks grabbing some of that bigger gear and chasing ghosts along the jersey shore grabbing those orcas and the nomads looking around for some of those giant bluefin that have been crashing through the area now i'd love to going through all this stuff pick up some of the heavy spin gear and going after some of those tuna but these are monsters I mean, these are the true giants. In fact, uh, the crew at the Real Seat, they've been real busy cranking out the uh, bluefin spreader bars all week long. Uh, over the weekend, Jason at Fisherman Supply, he had a, a late breaking order. Somebody really needed some hollow core, late requests. Good job, Jason and the folks at Fisherman Supply paid off. Again, these are the giant bluefin. The crew at all points checked in with a 356 pounder over at Hoffman's on Sunday, Hoffman's Marina in Manasquan was pretty busy with the weigh-ins with those giant bluefin. Also talked to Captain Kenny Gallup and his crew aboard Hubris. They brought another giant through the transom doors over the weekend. Again, these are the giant bluefin, the three, the 400 pounders, the 96 inchers. These are enormous bluefin and they are not far off either. The reports that we had over the weekend, they were just south of Rockaway Reef in New York. I also heard some reports at the farms as well. Now these are not spot burns, folks, because we don't know, these things are booking through. And then with this big heave we've had in the past several days, not sure where those bluefin are gonna set up, where, how, or when, as far as looking for those giants. But I'll tell you, a lot of folks are hoping for those schools and those mediums coming in right behind it. And again, if we have a bluefin season like we did last summer, it is just going to be exciting as those wide trackers just fly off the boards, off the peg boards, and the Joe shoots as well. Uh, a lot of folks were quick to respond last week, though, north of Great Egg. That's that, that line for the trophy season, these big trophy fish, these giants. If you're north of that line around Great Egg, you get one per vessel per season. The folks south of that. Uh, South Jersey, Cape May County, all the way down along the Outer Banks, that trophy season has been closed. But I'll tell you, there's some of these big bluefin are making some really happy barbecues heading into this Memorial Day weekend. This was a different report this week than I have given in some time. We always start with the COVID-19 news, but I didn't have too much in terms of breaking it down. You know, the big news that we got this past weekend, of course, was the for hires are operational again as of Sunday. I sat down in front of my computer on Saturday, broke the story about the for hires back in business, and I found out late Sunday, uh, late Saturday night for an update on Sunday that the for hire restriction on headboats was maddening 10 person limit in New Jersey as of Sunday. Now I do know that the RFA and the United Boatmen are working hard in Trenton to try to uh, amend this policy on behalf of our headboats. 
Uh, black sea bass opened this past weekend. A lot of boats got out for black sea bass. The charter boats are getting out for sea bass and stripers. But as of this point, we've got that 10 person capacity uh, that hopefully the folks at the RFA, United Boatmen and all those activists, hopefully the state opens up and understands that these inspected vessels, these bigger boats, 60, 80, 90 or 100 feet or more, you can have social distance fishing on these boats by keeping six to eight feet in between. We will follow up, we'll continue to follow ahead uh, on that news. Um, tell you what, my wife had said, I, I was joking around, I had not shaved. Uh, I said I was gonna shave as soon as the for hires were operational. My wife said, are you gonna shave Sunday morning? I said, I could only shave half. I'll shave the rest of it when our party boats are back in business. The for hire rules, just so you know, going into this weekend ahead, electronic or telephone reservation and payment systems, they don't want any touch. They want to reduce the amount of human interaction. I say they, the state of New Jersey. Um, social distancing measures on the vessels and in waiting and boarding areas. No sharing of fishing equipment. No sharing of bait or gear. In fact, they're limiting the use of nets to only those folks that are on the crew. Uh, infection control and hygiene practices, providing sanitation materials uh, to passengers and crew, frequent sanitation of the vessel in high touch areas, uh, prohibiting food and beverage service, and again, Crew and passengers must wear masks aboard the vessels at all time, like those folks catching sea bass on the big Mohawk out of Belmar on Sunday. Now, we have not had much of a, a week on, in terms of black sea bass because of the heave offshore, and still hoping we'll get some good news going into the summer flounder holiday weekend here at the Jersey Shore, but we will have to stay tuned. I'm not feeling comfortable right now at the beginning of the fluke, but I am feeling comfortable at some point. And I would remind you that here in New Jersey, we've got the for hires back in business. Connecticut was just getting started this week. Massachusetts doesn't start till next week. No word yet on the Delaware for hire. No word yet on the New York for hire businesses as well. So we are in a unique position. Our charter boats are operational and hopefully very soon those larger inspected vessels will be able to carry more than 10 people. Uh, if you're in the market for a boat while interest rates are low, Marine Trades Association let us know this week too that, that boat dealerships are back in business. Auto dealership, you can buy a bike, you can buy a motorcycle, and yes, you can buy a boat. Good time to do so as well. And of course, if you're not buying a boat, but you want to rent a boat, the boat rentals are open this weekend as well. That was part of the executive order this past weekend. We should just about see all of our New Jersey Shore beaches open by this weekend. Social distancing, of course. Uh, us fishermen, the surf casters, we've had access to many of the beaches, but hopefully by this weekend, we will have access to every beach at the Jersey Shore to be able to chase down some fish, which is good news too, because I think a lot of the run that we're getting along the front beaches now could be that Chesapeake, the first stages of the Chesapeake run. Uh, we've got the, the, uh, the spawners up the Hudson right now. There's still some good catches up there. We've got the Delaware fish. They're spawning and move, moving out, but I think a lot of those Chesapeake fish are moving out front. Uh, and I know throughout the state of New Jersey, down in South, Central, and up in North Jersey as well, we're getting some decent reports. Bill Collins, last couple of weeks, was fishing down in Cape May County along the beaches of Wildwood, doing pretty well with some catch and release of some jumbo fish up around the 40 inch area. My man, Cam Conrad, uh, he hit a 36 inch on, um, on over the weekend using bunker on LBI, checked it in with the folks at Surf City Bait and Tackle, weighed 16 and three quarters pounds. Uh, that I said was bunker, but clam is working as well. In fact, uh, not just on the local drum, the drum bite has been pretty good. Great Bay all the way down to Delaware Bay, but those clams in the wash, uh, especially after a heave like we've had, also a good bet. Matt walked up to the socially distant window at Grumpy's in Seaside with a 28 inch table fish taken at Island Beach on clam over the weekend. Of course, as I mentioned, that rare and bay bite continues. We're getting some good reports from folks that are getting out, live lining, throwing top waters as well, but some jumbo striped bass still on the rare. And the folks that I have talked to about that spawning run, uh, I understand the fish are still way up the Hudson. So as more of those fish start dropping out, we could get another month of really good action up along the Raritan and the lower Hudson as well. For those looking for a little retreat, perhaps, to get out to the Poconos, to get away from the Jersey Shore madness, a little quiet up there, let's check in with George, Pocono Outdoors guy. 
Well, hey, thanks, Jim. You know, despite this relentless wind we've been having, fishing is starting to pick up, and I hope you guys are starting to get out in the water as well. I got a couple of great catches to share with you this week, but one note I do want to pass along is that Pennsylvania Fishing Boat is having a free fishing day this Sunday, the 24th of May. That's right, no license required. You still got to follow the regs, but if you're not into fishing and you want to start, get out here for the day, enjoy fishing. Sunday, May 24th should be a great time. Now, for some of what's biting, we've had that Glen Key uh, out on the Susquehanna River getting some bass on the soft plastics. Now, now Glenn says we have to work them slow. They're still a little bit finicky, but the, the plastics are getting it done. Now, talking about the Susquehanna, we had Brandon Givens out on uh, Susquehanna as, as well with a Tokyo rig, and he got his new PB, a six-pound, 11-ouncer, out of the Susquehanna. What a great fish. Good work there, Brandon. Now, Justin learned he switched things up a little bit and gave those brown trout a rest. Uh, he was out on the Pasea getting into some beautiful pike. So that bite is on fire. Way to go, Justin. Now also, um, Mark Hines uh, was also out on the, the on the uh, Passaic, and he managed to get a, a couple of really nice crappie, and he also said he got into a few nice walleye as well, so it looks like fishing's really picking up everywhere we go. But Jim, also, some of the folks here local are heading your way. A couple of great guys heading out, hitting that salt, and they're catching fish as well. Good friend John Augustine was out on the uh, the Raritan Bay, and he's been tearing them up all, all season long out there getting them on those uh, uh, majas, the, the bunker spoons, and the mojos, so he's been working them really well. Also a local Chris Pitcher, he was out on Island Beach State Park getting him out front on some bunker. So just a little heads up guys, we are getting some good reports of fish out front. Lots going on, it's a holiday weekend, you guys enjoy. From Pennsylvania, I'm George, your Pocono Outdoors guy. Steigercraft boats, built by people who fish our waters. Serious English choose Steigercraft for their 40 years of boat building experience right here in the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic. Visit Steigercraft.com for a dealer near you. Now, in addition to the hordes of Memorial Day weekend visitors, uh, this weekend we're getting some other summer visitors already too. Water has been cold. We'll remind you of that, but we're still getting some other reports. The kingfish, some good blowfish. I talked to some people going out to the research buoy. And now some sheep's head have arrived as well. This week, Chris Collar let me know he spearfished this one in the Manasquan. So some of you uh, sheep's head sharpies, especially in the lower part of the, uh, of the state of New Jersey, might be time to break those tog jigs out again. We put them away for the closure after April 30th, but now we've got an opportunity to put a couple of crabs down, maybe for some sheep's head around the structure. Getting some good weak fish reports as well. Throughout Cape May County, uh, the jetties and the sedges are producing well for throw folks who are throwing plastics, drifting bloodworms or sandworms, but we're also getting some reports uh, in the central region and also up along the Raritan as well, where Staten Island's Taurus Vebulonis had a 23-incher that he registered just this week in the Fisherman Magazine's Coastal Kayak Clash. Now, if you are a kayak fisherman, you got to check this out. It's free to enter the Coastal Kayak Clash. No, no weigh-ins necessary. It's a photo contest. You can get all the details at thefisherman.com. At the end of this season, we are going to give away a, uh, an Old Town Sportsman Series Autopilot Kayak. This is a gem. Take a look at what Toby Lipinski has been doing with his. He's been fully outfitting that. But if you're a kayak fisherman, make sure you check out thefisherman.com. Get in on that coastal kayak clash. Multi-species and the species that matter like bluefish and weakfish, those jumbos that we have right now, get on them now so that you can win that contest. I would like to see somebody from New Jersey win one of these Fisherman Magazine region-wide contests at some point. Finally, folks, don't forget about the reason for the Memorial Day weekend. It's not just a three-day weekend to celebrate the start of summer. It's a time to give solemn thanks to those who risked everything, who sacrificed everything for our freedoms. God bless all of you who served and special prayers for the men and women that we've lost, that sacrificed for American freedoms. That's Memorial Day. Do me a favor, uh, in between the barbecue and the fishing, take a moment to give thanks to those brave servicemen and women 
in the United States. God bless the United States. Again, I will tell you, stay checked in with us on Facebook, over at thefisherman.com. You're getting this video forecast on Thursday before the Memorial Day weekend. I hope to have some type of good news by the weekend about the for hires and bigger than a 10 person limit. But we will let you know as soon as we find out. Have a wonderful holiday weekend. Welcome to the summer. And we'll see you again next week right here at thefisherman.com.